Merry Christmas. Good to see you here this bright and shiny day as we come together before the next weather front hits us this evening. Right? Well, as we come together, um, the worship group and I kind of said, Let, let's go for a little bit more relaxed, easy atmosphere this morning. So we have a series of hymns, Christmas hymns, as well as some scripture readings to share for us to contemplate and reflect on. And of course, we say good morning and Merry Christmas to all those who are meeting us and greeting us this Christmas um, 
first Sunday after Christmas, this morning on the social media platform. Uh, let's begin our worship service with Good Christian Friends Rejoice, hymn number 288. Please join with me in the responsive litany as printed in your bulletin this morning. Who are these angels who come to earth? Who are these shepherds who run to sea? Who is this child so small, so slight? Who is this king, a manger his throne? Who is this God who sends a son? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Thank you. Let us join together in the prayer of the day as written in your bulletin. Let us pray. Incarnate God, on this first Sunday of Christmas, we give you thanks for sending your Son to bring light to our darkness. Grant that we, like the angels over Bethlehem, may sing your praise in our hearts and lives. Amen. Our first reading comes to us from the Gospel of Luke, the second chapter, beginning with the eighth verse. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Glory to God in the highest heaven. Glory to God. Let's join together in hymn number 272. Lo, how a rose is blooming.
Our second lesson comes to us from Luke chapter 2, the 15th verse. When the angels had left the shepherds and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So the shepherds went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child laying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. Glory to God in the highest heaven. Let's join together in hymn number 300, the first Noel.
Who is this child, so small, so slight? A reading from Hebrews 1. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by a son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also created the worlds. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being. And he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. And having become as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. Glory to God in the highest heaven. Let's join together in hymn number 301, Bright and Glorious is the Sky. Who is this king? A manger his throne. A reading comes to us from Isaiah, the ninth chapter. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Glory to God in highest heaven.
Who is this God who sends a son? The lesson is from John, the first chapter, beginning with the first verse. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he who came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become the children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Glory to God in the highest heaven. Let us join together in hymn number 282.
I'm going to join in a time of prayers of intercession for the world, for ourselves, and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Joining our voices with the heavenly hosts and Christians throughout the time and space, we pray. I'll end each petition with, merciful God, if the people of God would respond, receive our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord God, you come to us in the diverse splendor of the universe. Grant us the humility to trust our place in the network of creation, that we live in service to you and to the natural world around us. Merciful God, receive our prayer. You come to us the relationships of many kind, families, friendships, communities, and nations. Guide us in these relationships that we recognize the Christ child in one another and show your love to those most vulnerable. Merciful God, receive our prayer. You come to us through people whom the world forgets. Poor shepherds and imprisoned Paul announced your good news. Send your spirit to all who are imprisoned, struggling with addiction, unwell, or in any need this day. We list before you this day those who appear in our bulletin, those who are hospitalized and recovering, Polly Carlson, Joe Hansen, Stella Krager, Joanne Nelson, Jim Spear, Kayla Stone, Nancy Wickham. We add this morning, Jason. We pray for those in military service, Logan Butler, Nick and Kara Klum, Nick Coda, Cole Doak, Nathan Gunderson, John Jameson, Ashley Miles, Jameson, Thomas Jacobson, Michael Johnson, and Paul Johnson. We pray also for the Sandig family as they approach this new year in a very different way. Merciful God, rejoicing in your word made flesh, we commend these prayers to your confident grace and love which has been named, known to us in Jesus Christ our Savior as we join together in the prayer that you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now then, this morning we have been exercising our lungs. You're probably now catching your breath after singing all those hymns. Amen? So, we've not done this for a while because of all of our COVID restrictions, and I'm seeing today you're very nicely well-spaced amongst us. I would invite you to please stand as you are able. Thank you. And now, if you would, turn around and share with those from a distance, Merry Christmas. <laughs> and just to make sure, the peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. Please be seated. Let us receive the offering at this time.
thy bounteous thoughts as to words true receive. And gladly as thou blessest us to thee our first fruits give. The captive to release to God the lost to bring to teach the way of peace Let us join together in prayer. The Lord be with you. Gracious God, your word made flesh brings harmony to the earth. As we offer ourselves and these your gifts, prepare us to receive your grace and truth. Renew us in the song of your salvation in Jesus Christ our Savior. And the people of God said, Amen. Well, this has been a different service this morning than probably what we have seen or participated in some time. You did note the opening there in uh, italics that this is kind of a, a remembrance of how Martin Luther really loved song. And in song, he always thought the service and the word could be delivered to both. And so that's why we kind of took the time to both reflect on scripture and on hymnody that uh, is in the Lutheran tradition. So I hope you've kind of enjoyed this and it kind of laid you back a little bit and you've maybe got to sing some of those good old favorites you don't normally get in this very compressed time of two weeks of Christmas. That being said, are there any announcements this day to carry on for the week ahead for the good of the ministry? All right, we go home and we watch the Vikings game. <laughs> Hey, they're underdogs. We, we're, we're supposed to support our brothers and sisters, right? So receive this blessing as we go forth. The God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing so that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit through Christ Jesus, the Word made flesh. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. Let's join together in hymn number 298, The Bells of Christmas.
Go in peace. Christ is with us. Thanks be to God.